I always wanted um, like Star Trek. Beat me up, Scotty. Really cool. And also with the review unit I received from Motorola, got this very stylish handbag. So uh, I might rock this. Let's do it now, guys. Just for comedy effect. So this is a Fabiola handmade for Razor. You can see that, guys. But yeah, here we go, guys. So it could be a man bag, you know. It could be a cool accessory, and you could even put, you know, phones in it and stuff. How does this work? <laughs> I can't work the bags. Obviously, I don't wear ladies' handbags often, guys. Just on a Thursday. So let's unbox it. So look at this box, guys. It's like this is an event. It's amazing. I also got, um, just before we unbox it, they gave us um, a complimentary um, lovely handbag, which my um, good lady wife's going to have it. And if you can see there, it's um, a Fabiola and it's handmade for Razor. Beautiful. I could even use that myself, you know, as a, it could be a man bag, you know, it's a modern age. Anyway, guys, I'll stop trying to be funny. That's the device, so lid comes off. And there it is. Cool. You get this lovely accessory pouch as well. A bit like a glasses case or something. And um, there's your charger. Um, it's only a 15 watt charger. It does say warp charge, but it's, um, you know, not the fastest, but not the slowest either. It's not a seven watt. At least you get a charger with the Galaxy Z Flip 3 and Z Fold 3 and Samsung's in general, I don't think you get chargers these days with the flagship ones, so, you know, Moto, shout out to them for that. Okay guys, so, I have been using this over the last few days, and um, I've got to say, it's a really cool device, so, just give it a clean, um, it's all glass, so Gorilla Glass 5, and, um, it's, it, the build quality is just amazing so look at that hinge there guys just focus that in lovely and um whereas the samsung z flip 3 that's very square this is a lot more futuristic I suppose of going um yeah for nostalgia you know like the original motos um the the, the original razor but um, yeah, this is cool, guys. So this never gets old. So if you get your thumb in a little bit, boom, ready to go. But yeah, it's it's so nice. Um, that screen, um, it's been commented on a lot. It's a P OLED, and you can feel. Just lock it, actually, guys, because you'll see better then. There is um, some ripples there, but I think considering what this device does. The, the screen's amazing and you know it, I've heard reviewers you know put the screen down but I think it's amazing considering this is the second generation Motorola um, Razer flip phone um, <laughs> sorry the, the, the um, you know in this in Android I think it's an amazing effort um, and where it beats the Z Fold 3 or Z Flip 3 is this big screen at the front so we'll unlock that guys. You've got um, front facing unlock as well. Oh sorry, you've got face unlock. But yeah, look at this big screen. So you've got here a little game that comes with it. So apparently um, the code name for this phone when it came out was Odyssey um, or before it came out when it was in development. So see if I'm any good at this guys. It's a bit like Dino Run or whatever they call it, you know, on Google when Google breaks down. Okay, so we'll quit that. But yeah, it's it's so cool. So you've got so much more functionality than um, the Z Flip 3 here. So you've got WhatsApp, which is you know really usable. So let's keep it moving. So what else have we got on here, guys? So it, you can add additional apps so you can go on not there if you go to the bottom you've got manage apps so i've added a few things in you could like you know calculate it there just um do a quick sum i don't know uh plus there you go you know nice um handy tool to have then 
got my YouTube studio because I've not tested this actually yet. Let's see if it works. Oh, it does. See, I'm, this is me constantly refreshing. Oh, there you go, guys. I'm on 240 subscribers. That's nice. That's gone up really quickly um, today. I was on, I think, 235 this morning. So that's good. So thanks to all who are subscribing or watching, you know, either way. Subscribe if you want. You don't have to. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and I, I like this. Um, I don't know if you've ever played this. It's called Fluid. It's like um, almost like a fidget spinner sort of um, app, you know, if you're just trying to chill out and you get a bit stressed or have anxiety. So, you know, it, this does work on the little screen as well. And the cool thing, so this should, because we've got the app open here, it switches to the main display and then you can, you know, transfer whatever app. I'll do that with YouTube, might be better than Fluid. Let's get back in again, guys, there we go. Face unlocks really quick on this phone, I'm, I'm very impressed. So do YouTube, and then we'll see if we... Okay. There we go. So, you know, some really cool features. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. Okay, so while we're on the subject of that, so I think the screen, as I said, is awesome, guys. I'm very impressed. The screen, I think it's beautiful, guys. And, you know, and then when you're ready to go, boom, fold up, off you go. Okay, so some other little quirky things. Um, I can see why they've put the fingerprint scanner there because when it's closed, if they put it up here, obviously on this display where you'd have on a normal uh, candy bar phone, you know, it wouldn't work when you've got it, you know, it'd be obscure in the screen or, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't be good. I think for the next one, um, they need a side um, fingerprint scanner like on the Z Flip 3, but, you know, it's, it's just a cool device, so it's amazing, guys. I really like it. Okay, so, um, yeah, this phone's running um, Snapdragon 765G, which is in the Google Pixel 5, the 5A, the 4A 5G. Um, it was also in the Moto um, Edge uh, 2020 last year's, and it's a really capable chip. It, it's, you know, obviously a year and a bit old, but... Um, it is an awesome chip, you know, I, I've not had any issues at all with it. It's very snappy performance. Um, gaming's really good, which we'll show you now. Okay, so we'll crank these speakers again and see if it picks up on the video. See what you think, guys. Nice take down there. There we go. They are, they are quite loud, those speak, that speaker, even though it's a single firing one. So, yeah, you know, you can probably see that, guys. Take it upstairs. There we go. Through the building. Lethal weapon styling or something. Another ramp. Jump. Golden Gate Bridge there. Just reminds me of um, Planet of the Apes now, the uh, rise of the Planet of the Apes. So yeah, you know, when it's running a game, you'd never know it's a foldable phone. Or when it's running, you know, anything that's um, bright, if it's, if it's a dark image, like if he was watching a movie that was, um, you know, in a, lots of dark scenes, you wouldn't, um, you would see the fold a little more, but it just looks like a normal candy bar phone to me when it's like this. There we go, guys. So first place, but yeah, and then again, never gets old. Fold it up for you. Love it. Okay, so yeah, onto the camera. So I'll do a, a full camera review, but I'm I'm really happy so far. This is um, taken on the the main lens, um, so when you got it folded, you can still take selfies. Um, this is a time lapse. Let's do that again.
okay guys but yeah that came out really nice the time lapse oh here's me vlogging I think turn this up okay see what I'm saying this is a vlogging test on the Moto Razr 5G this is using the front facing camera oh the rear facing camera um, the, fo the phone's folding gets confusing so this is the best lens guys so I'll see what the quality's like Stabilisation. So yeah, I was trying to tell you then, it gets confusing, but I was using that lens with it with it shut, basically, guys. So you can, you know, vlog like that because it's got the screen. Um, okay. Okay, and here's one with the insert. Okay, so here's one with the internal camera here when it's unfolded. test on the internal front facing camera so again we'll see what the difference is between that and the main lens and what the stabilization is like okay so this is a vlogging test yeah so um the stabilization is a lot better on that um <laughs> Rear camera, it's confusing me. It's the rear camera, guys. But yeah, it's um, yeah, you know, it's brilliant to have the option to use both for for vlogging if you like vlogging. Okay, and then this is a selfie with the um, rear facing camera, so really clear. Um, portrait of it, you can see the bokeh there. Really nice, sharp image. This is with the internal camera, so still good, still really clear. And internal with bokeh. Okay, and then go for a few shots. So like I say, I will do a, a proper camera um, review, but you know, I've got some really nice shots out of it. So yeah, lots of detail um, on that 48 megapixel main sensor. Very impressed. Okay guys, so just a quick one today, but yeah, I'm gonna test this out over the next um, week or so, but um, I've got my SIM card in the phone, and if you can see here, it's got the 4G symbol there. Um, so, you know, I am giving it a proper test. It's not just, um, rocking it as a second device this is going to be my device for a while um but yeah so far really impressed um i'm loving the fold it's just you know addictive really it doesn't have the mode like the um z flip 3 does where you can you know stand it up like that and use it as like a tripod but you know it's a, that's a gimmick really isn't it? it you might use it for video calls but you know um essentially this is the same phone as um a z flip 3 with you know it's the same concepts isn't it same um form factor i'm trying to say but yeah um so this phone when it came out it was 1500 dollars or about 1400 pounds in the uk and i believe it has been discounted a lot in the us i don't think it's been discounted too much over here in the uk um i have seen it used in the uk for about 500 pounds which you know 500 pounds for this is you know really worth it even when it came out, £1,400 for this last year, it's bleeding edge technology. You know, it, it is cutting edge. Um, so, you know, I think it, that is fair. You've got to pay for the latest and greatest. It's like when um, Blu-ray came out or 4K TVs, you know, they were astronomical and then they've they've gone down a lot. But oh, let's give it a wipe down again, guys. It gets a little bit fingerprinty. But yeah, okay guys, so hit me up in the comments, tell me what you think about this one. Um, like I say, I will be using this as my daily driver, but there we go. Beam me up, Scotty. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm loving it, guys. So yeah, um, 
ask me any questions if there's anything you want me to test on this phone if this is a phone you're looking for yourself you know i've got it for probably the next week or two weeks and um i'm here to help all right guys so thanks for watching tech and out there's only one way to close the video close the phone tech and out take care guys so just to sign off i'll do it one last time for you yes yes well you know what this has been a good argument but i won Second rack out. Have a good day.